Hello everyone, I am Michael and welcome back to a program Chinese Idiom Knows It All. Let's draw another Chinese idiom and see what we're going to be learning today. Okay, let's see uh, this one. Let's see what we have here. Da -da -da -da. The idiom I got is Yi Ju Liang De. Yi Ju Liang De means to kill two birds with one stone. For example, my friend is trying to lose some weight, but he wants to order some food, and you know he cannot eat too much. So in this situation, mm -hmm. he can fill in the address of my home so that he gets to lose some weight and I get to eat his food. See? That's killing two birds with one stone. Don't mind me, that was just an idiom joke. Let's give another example. I only need to read one book which is helpful for my research on two topics. So we can say, killing two birds with one stone. How do you say that? Yi ju liang de. Now let's briefly look into the origin of this idiom. It comes from Jin Shu Shu Xi Zhuan. In this book, he mentioned that we can kill two birds with one stone, solid on the outside and wide on the inside. Now, let's disassemble this idiom and look at its meaning word by word. Yi means one. Ju means an act or action. Liang means two. De means to acquire or obtain. Now, based on this character breakdown, Yi Ju Liang De literally means to acquire multiple benefits or to achieve two things at once. Yi Ju Liang De can be used in different situations and scenarios. For example, in summer the weather is too hot, so the panda jumps directly into the pool to relieve the heat and take a bath. This is an example of Yi Ju Liang De. So today we've learned the Chinese idiom Yi Ju Liang De, which means to kill two birds with one stone. The other words related to this idiom, such as Yi Jian Shuang Diao. Now, the antonym of this idiom would mean a situation whereby everyone involved suffers loss, or a situation where the loss outweighs the gain. Now, the perfect word for that is De Bu Chang Shi. De Bu Chang Shi means something where the costs don't outweigh the benefits, or something is not really worth doing. Oh. That's all for today's episode on Yi Ju Liang De. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that the Chinese idiom and culture that we've talked about today will be of great help to you guys in your daily life. Now, I'm going to keep going around Beijing in search for more Chinese idioms that I'm going to teach you guys. So if you have any questions or suggestions for future episodes, don't forget to drop your comments below. Thank you so much again, and I'll see you next time. Bye.